guys. I might have the messiest bank in all of Gilnar. I might literally have the worst bank in all of Like, look at this. I'm going to do a slow pan through it. It's disgusting. And I, I genuinely hate it. That, 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 like, this is what my bank actually looks like. Like, I don't like it. I was thinking, this could be, like, one of those, like, oddly satisfying videos where, you, you know, authorities go into someone's house and they've been, like, hoarding stuff for a hundred years and they, like, finally clean out their garage. That's what today is gonna be. So, my bank is a mess and it has always been a mess and for years, I have justified this mess in saying, well, the bank we work or placeholders, you know, they're coming at some point and when that happens, I'll clean my bank once It'll be perfect, it'll be beautiful, and it will stay that way. And that's been my excuse literally for years to keep this messy, disgusting bank, and my hardcore Iron Man bank is just as bad, so we're gonna have to tackle that one as well at some point. This bank rework placeholder update is fantastic, and I'm approaching this thinking that if I set this up exactly how I like it, exactly how I want it, I will not have to make any significant changes to this ever. It's just gonna stay organized, and that's the power of the placeholder. It's so nice being able to remove an item that you only have one of, especially with augmented gear, and have it keep its place in an organized bank. I think this is one of the biggest, one of the best, one of the brightest quality of life updates this game has ever seen. It's honestly just that good. You'll see in the background, this is sped up to 4,000x of me just going through everything, dropping a ton of items, purchasing a bunch of items for placeholders, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna take you through every single tab in my brand new bank, and at that point, you guys can weigh in, let me know how well I did. I obviously, you know, have no background in being remotely organized, so I tried. I took some inspiration from people who are posting things in my Twitch chat because I actually streamed the cleaning of my bank. Don't know why people wanted to watch that, but they did. So anyway, that's a thing that happened. So you guys get to watch the six minute long version of it, but on stream, it took about four hours. I'm also gonna mention the value of my bank hasn't really changed since the last bank video because it hasn't been that long. I wasn't really planning on making another bank video except that they dropped the bank rework on us and it absolutely is a game changer. But the value of my bank is around 12 billion coins. So anyway guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the completed, the organized bank. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, I'm dead tired right now, so I'm sorry if I don't sound super, super enthusiastic. <laughs> But uh, here's a quick run through of my completely organized bank. The first tab here is my armor tab. I like it a lot. I've got the 10 sets of gear that I could see myself using, all stacked vertically like this, three down. And then after that, I've got my boots and my gloves um, just sort of there. And then I've got those malevolent pants as a spacer. I don't know if I'm gonna you know, move those around, maybe put them you know, down here or something like that in the future. But for right now, that's sort of how I've got it set up and it's gonna, uh, gonna stay that way. After that, I've got all my gloves, I've got all my shields, so I've got all three Barrow's shields and then the uh, spirit shields. I don't currently have an Elijah, I don't really use any spirit shields to be honest, so I could probably sell all of those and just keep the placeholders, but it is what it is. After that, I've got my defenders, I don't have a ranged defender because I've got no need for one, and then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I've got my amulets and all that stuff, good, rings, and then right at the bottom here, I've got my pocket slot stuff, so I've got my grimoire and just all of my used scrim shots. This tab doesn't look quite as nice as the armor tab, but it's relatively functional. I've got my Telos weapon stacked vertically, my tier 92 main hands, and then off hands, and then flanking, and then you'll see just my first row is melee, second row is range, third row is magic. I've got my Terra Sormal right there next to the Hex Hunter bow. I've got the blowpipe that I bought to make a testing video on it, and then I realized it was terrible, and I figured I'd just, you know, save everybody some time and not even bother making it. But uh, yeah, that's my weapon tab. Next up, I've got my PVM gearing tab, and I put about 600 mil into stocking this tab up, especially paying attention to like the super brews and the food and all that stuff. And I really like this tab. These are all the potions that I use for like, you know, general PVMing. I've got my Guthix rests, my brews, my super brews, all the different types of foods I use, and it's all in one really convenient place. I've got my ogre flasks, I've got my grimoire pages, a lot of onyxes, my viswax, divine charges. I've got a ton of all the nihils and the incense sticks and familiars, tons of runes, all of my rune pouches, augmenters, all that stuff in a really, really good place. I'm almost at a dread nip, so I'm gonna have to get more at some point, but you know, I'll get those done before the next time I go to Telos. But yeah, this is my general PVMing tab. I think it's fantastic. I absolutely love this tab. It's probably my favorite tab in the whole bank, other than this next tab, which is my unique tab. This tab is extremely cool. What I wanted to do is I wanted every unique in the game that like I could encounter with the bosses I actually do. And we're gonna continue growing this tab as time passes. But effectively, I've got an orb set. That black bray is just a placeholder till I get the last orb. I've got all of the dormants placeholder in here. And then this will be my three Araxi weapons. So I've got the web, that would be the eye, and then that would be the fang once I get them. 
Then I've got all three leg pieces, except that is not a bot leg, it's a spider on a stick, because I don't have a bot leg yet, but, you know, soon it'll replace that. Uh, after that, I've got every single unique drop from God Wars 2. I've got all the uh, Virago drops, so Seismic 1, Seismic Sing. I've been doing an absolute ton of hard mode Rago lately, so guarantee those will be, uh, you know, occupied pretty quickly. And then a fantastic content creator by the name of Triple Dylan. If you haven't heard of him, he's the guy who makes all the Kusko videos. He's an absolute beauty. He hooked me up with a Barrow's die, a Shadow's die, an Ice die, and a Blood die, just a placeholder that was just like for the placeholders, and then I traded them all back to his account. After that, I've got my stack of Virtus books and a pheromone that I think honestly should go in to this next tab. This next tab is pretty messy, but effectively by the end of it, I just want every single common drop in the game in this one big tab for the bosses that I actually do. So I'd want to cover God Wars 2, Telos, Nex, Rax, Rago, and you know, just a lot of those bosses that I do a good amount of. So anyway, that's all good there. That is that tab. Next up, I've got my potion tab. If you were looking at this tab and thinking, well, okay, where are your five through one doses for decanting? Well, they all go in here. And that's why my bank is designed as 10 long instead of 12. A lot of people have these 12 long banks and that's really cool. But for me, I really like being able to decant like this where as I'm PVMing, as I'm bossing, everything just kind of files in here automatically. I think it looks really clean. And then I can just really quickly go to transfer all. And then when I'm decanting, I can just say, okay, I want all those, I want all those, I want all those and we are good to decant like that. So I really love this tab. Uh, next up, this tab isn't really useful for anything, but it's just all of my skill capes. I've got the 120 capes for every skill that I have a 120 in, and then the 99 capes for everything else. And uh, yeah, just something I've always liked to do, and I've done it in the past, but it gets kind of annoying when you're like pulling out skill capes, like say I want to switch my spell book with my magic cape. It gets kind of annoying, like do I then carry two, and then it just it doesn't look nearly as good. So, you know, being able to do it this way where I can take out whatever I want, hold its place, it's unreal. Uh, now, my very last tab in my bank right now is just my intermediary step making potions tab. So up here, that's everything I need for a salve, everything I need for a supreme overload one below, and it's just all the potion making stuff for the potions I need for PVMing. Now, this regular tab right at the top, I'm probably gonna make some changes to it. There's no real rhyme or reason to it at this stage. I don't really have a skilling tab. I'm thinking of maybe doing that and kind of migrating some of those items over to there but this is all stuff I don't really use, but I didn't really have a good place in any other tab. So anyways, if you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know, but this is my completed bank. Hopefully you guys found, you know, some amount of satisfaction from, you know, watching me clean that disgusting bank. And if you guys have any ideas or anything like that, all you gotta do is let me know. I'm currently away at RuneFest, so I went with a bit of a quicker upload for this week, but I have got three challenges recorded and a bunch of other really cool videos as well. I know you guys have been missing some PVM content and don't worry, there's a whole bunch coming very soon.